Hi, my name is David. We're going to show you today how to clean out the tubes in your heat exchanger on your uh, marine engine. Very easy to do. Do it every few years and it will extend the life of your heat exchanger. Okay, here's the heat exchanger on a Ford Lehman diesel. And it's the, the round thing that has the no step sticker on it. First thing we're going to do is jam some rags down beneath either end, both ends of it. Because we're going to take those end plates off. So you just put a 9 16 wrench on that bolt that you can barely see there and take that uh, cover plate off. There, there'll be some water spilling so don't be surprised. Okay, once you have the covers off both ends, then take a small dowel like eighth inch or 3 16 depending upon your particular heat exchanger and just run it through these holes that you see here. And uh, that's all there is to it. You'll see uh, one end is more plugged up than the other. <clears throat> In my case it's the starboard end that has to do with the flow of the cooling water. And then uh, put some silicon grease on the end caps that you removed and uh, make sure the mating surfaces are clean and then just reinstall those end caps and then you're done. When you reinstall the end caps be sh try to do your best to match up the um, this, I don't know what you call them, <laughs> the ribs or whatever of the uh, heat exchanger with the cover so that they they match and as I said put some silicon grease on there and also on the bolt that you use to install these and then snug them up. I forgot to mention that before you take those end caps off if you drain the heat exchanger on my heat exchanger it's the far left plug at the very bottom on the, on the left end here if you drain the heat exchanger after closing your pet cocks, then there'll be a lot less water that gushes out when you remove those end plates. So that's it. Good luck. <clears throat> and uh, you're doing your engine a favor by doing this every few years.